Hey guys, it's Amy and Jess, and welcome back to Once Upon an Upside. I am Amy here today, and I have a special announcement for all you Once Upon an Upside listeners. We have a new co-host to assist me in covering these wonderful up movies. She's beautiful. She's smart. She likes felines just like me. And that is the wonderful, the beautiful Jess. Thank you. Hello, everybody. And that was such a wonderful introduction. (laughs) (laughs) I am so excited to be here and and help uh, review these up TV movies with you. Yes, thank you so much. I was searching for the past month or so for a new co-host for Once Upon an Upside, and Jess, I'm so grateful that she has stepped up and wanted to cover these movies with me, um, and I appreciate it so much. Um, So just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Uh, For right now, we're still going to do some mini reviews on the Once Upon an Upside channel, so if you guys only have 10 to 15 minutes, just want to look at a review for one movie, you can go over there and see that. Um, if not, we, of course, will always, at the end of the month, have our larger recaps over here on Hallmark Keys, where we cover all of the movies that have come in the previous month from Up. Um, but yeah, are, is there anything you'd like to add, Jess, before we get into our movie discussion? I don't think so. I'm, I'm ready to get started and talking about these movies. All right, awesome. Okay, so uh, for the first May movie, we have the movie Change of Heart, and this movie was about Diane, who is a producer at a show called John's with Jared, Um, and (laughs) she is tasked with going to this major resort um, in order to set it up and see what it's like for them to do an episode of this John's with Jared. I would kind of describe it as, like, I, I was trying to, like, old... Rachel Ray TV shows where she traveled around for 40 days. That's kind of, yeah. <laughs> or traveled around for $40 or whatever. That's kind of what I equated John's with Jared with, but he's reviewing hotels, I guess. Um, and so her car breaks down on the way there and she ends up staring at this cute bed and breakfast, um, not the re- resort she was supposed to. She signs in in a fake name, ends up, you know, getting the be- bed and breakfast on the TV show, but Jared has a secret plot to make the B&B look bad. And, um, you know, it chaos ensues from there, mistaken identity, because she signed in with a fake name. She also has a third fake name in this movie, so we got a lot <laughs> of fake There's identities. There's a lot going on in here with <laughs> identities. A lot of fake identities. Um, and then she ends up um, falling in love with the owner of the B&B's handsome son, Andy. So, happily ever after. Um, but, all right, let's get into talking about it. So, Jess, what did you, what was your first reaction to this movie? What did you think of it? Did you have a thought before you saw the movie? Um, and then after, did it change? What did you think? I don't think I had a thought before. I don't even think I, I read the, the blurb, but I hadn't even seen any promos. So I just kind of went in not knowing anything about what this movie was going to be. And, you know, started out, I, I really liked it. Um, it fizzled a little bit for me kind of halfway through. I think there was just, I think this movie suffered from having too many relationships going on because we had Diane and um, the son, Andy, and then there was the mom and the, um, I forget his name, but the older gentleman who yeah, stayed Dr. there Burke. a lot. I think Dr. Dr. Burke. Burke. Yeah. We had the server Tammy and painter Bill. And we had um, her assist- or her coworker Gina and the guy from the improv thing. So we had like four relationships going on. Oh my gosh, I even forgot about that last one. <laughs> And I think I think things ended up being underdeveloped because they, they just were a little over ambitious. Mm-hmm. So for me, it just ended up being, you know, a cute movie, nothing incredibly special. Um, but I think if they had eliminated one or two of those other side relationships, we, we could have gotten a lot deeper. It had mm-hmm. a little bit more of a story going on. Yeah, I can I, I agree completely with that. We there's in the past couple of months of up movies, there's been a lot of second storylines that I'm like could have been so good if they actually the storylines actually collided with the main storyline more um and they interacted more because I think in this movie really the only storyline that second storyline relationship that helped Diane and Andy's storyline a little bit was the mom and Dr. Burke Uh, the -hmm. other ones didn't really directly influence them especially Gina and that other guy I didn't even remember about them (laughs) (laughs) like it really did not that did not influence 
our main storyline at all. So yeah. and, I, and actually, I really did like that little side story too. Like, yeah. I really like that. I like the painter um, and the server. They're a little oh. many. Like, but it's like we didn't get enough of any one relationship. Exactly. So yeah, like, they were all good. It was just too much for one movie. Yeah, it was a little. It was a little, little much. Um, yeah. So then, okay, we talk about all of her identities. Okay, so she's got a food blog, <laughs> and she's what Edna. Is that what it was? Adina? I think it's like, or something like that, because it was like, was it Edna Eats or Eats? I could be. I don't know. It was the same song. letters as Diane, just spelled differently. <laughs> I know that. Um, but so she had that identity. And then she checked in with a different name as Diane something else. And then her real name was Diane McCarthy, the producer. So this woman was like really, <laughs> really hiding herself. And so just, I want to know, what are your feelings about movies like this where they have the like secret identity storyline and you're like at some point he's gonna find out and they're gonna get mm -hmm. mad you know I don't mind it initially because with this you know that's her job is she doesn't want them to know that she's a producer so she can they can she can honestly review them in a fair way because they don't she doesn't want them to give her special treatment because they know why she's there so I'm okay with it, it, it yeah the, the hard part is when they tell somebody you know this isn't actually me and um for this this particular movie I, I felt like he overreacted when she kind of told him um who she was because she was trying to help them she's like look guys I was trying to do this nice thing for you and this you know other guy Jared who's just <laughs> completely off his rocker is gonna do something else and you need to pull out and she was trying to help them and he just got mad I'm like she, she wanted to help you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, he, he, it was so fast to, like, kick her to the curb and, like, not even believe his mom either. Like, his yeah. mom, Helen, was trying to be like, no, I trust, like, she's gonna, she's gonna fix it. She's gonna fix it. And he was just like, nope, I don't like her anymore. <laughs> like, I know the mom was so cool about it. She was yeah. like, oh, it's, it's all gonna work out. And she had so much faith. I was very shocked. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, so also at this B and B, we encountered some interesting food um, that the mom made. A couple different things. Were there any um, of the recipes or the things she ate that you wanted to try yourself? Because there was a whole foodie blog aspect as well to Diane. I don't know if I even remember any of the dishes specifically. Can you remind me what's <laughs> so? They had the the pie she was trying to make and she didn't make very well. And then so Diane came in and fixed it. And then there was the the grilled cheese sandwich with the powdered sugar, which I've never heard of. Oh before. yeah, that was weird. <laughs> I was like, I don't maybe, maybe I don't know if that would taste good. Like <laughs> Yeah, maybe that's a thing somewhere and I just don't know. I don't know. But um speaking of the pie, I actually do remember that scene. I, I thought it was so hilarious when um so she was trying to um convince the mom uh, that you use better marketing and the son was being all like no, this isn't going to work. And she was like, you like this pie crust, me to chill. <laughs> like, that is like a wonderful line. I was like, burn girl. You just, you just called him out. Um, <laughs> that was really funny. That was funny. Um, okay. So, oh, there was another guy in this movie too. Who was the assistant or whatever to Gina as well. There was him. I forgot about him. And he made was it Judd made the phone call that for some reason outed oh. Diane forgot about him too I forgot about him too yeah <laughs> there was, I didn't remember his name <laughs> there was way too many people in this movie <laughs> yeah. it was a lot it was a lot a lot um yeah so if I it, here on Once Upon an Upside we give our movies balloons um because we're going up and balloons and helium i don't know <laughs> balloons um and, and like so, the movie up you know yeah, it's, it's we <laughs> so we give them balloons so jess in your a personal opinion from one to ten balloons how many balloons do you think change of heart should get i gave it a solid five balloons because i did i did like it i just felt like nothing got developed enough to make it a really like good good movie yes yes i completely agree i also gave it five balloons i think this is middle of the road movie uh, normally when I talk about our once upon an upside, like, ranking system, um, it goes from one to ten, and ten in my eyes is Christmas movie Christmas. So, <laughs> last year. So, that is, uh, that is normally how my ranking system in my mind goes. So, this is middle of the road, change of heart. It was good, but would you watch it again? Probably not. Me neither. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, oh, and I forgot to say in the beginning, this was a 2016 produ production, just in case you were wondering. I normally like to say what year it was produced in, just in case you look at it and go, wow, those phones are old. Where did they get them? <laughs> or, um, wow, that actress looks really young. Yeah. With the one recently with, oh, shoot, what's her name? Um, the the undercover, of, undercover Angel. Mm -hmm. um, who's the girl? She's, um, Oh, Lila Fitzgerald. Yeah, she's like, oh, she looks like a little, little girl, and she's so much older now. <laughs> yeah, it was like, that movie was a while ago, yeah, so, yeah. Um, yeah, but that was our review for Change of Heart. All right, so, uh, Jess, where can the people of the interwebs find you? You can find me at Jess BSW blog on Instagram and on Twitter, or you can check out my website, BeneathStillWaters.com. Awesome. Um, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter at It's Amy Craig. And of course, you can find Once Upon an Upside on Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube. It's O U A Upside. Once Upon A Upside. Um, everywhere on social media. Um, and then you can find the Hallmarkies podcast at Hallmarkies Pod, Twitter, Instagram, wherever uh, podcasts are found on YouTube. We have merch, um, different inspired merch from different Hallmark things. We don't have any up related merch just yet. And um, there's also the Patreon. So if you want to go and support us, it really helps out. You can go over to patreon.com slash Hallmarkies and that would be so helpful and um we really appreciate anyone who gives us our that support um but thank you so much for watching let us know what you think about the new upside Get, comment about jess and how wonderful she is um <laughs> please do <laughs> like please please do boost boost us please um anyways thank you so much for watching or listening and we will talk to you guys later bye everyone bye <laughs>